Well, you're definitely right with what you said and kind of hitting on the same thing, the same topic. I mean, you told me this story a, a while back and the story ha has actually helped me get a better understanding and, and it made it a simpler, uh, I guess, idea for me that God is actually within me and the distractions in my life, the TVs and the, the shows and the music, all that stuff is, is meant to keep me away from the God that's within me, actually. And the only time I really experienced that is when I put all that stuff to the side and sat in the quiet room. No, no, no spouse, no phone, no TV, no nothing. Just me, myself and I and listening to myself. And again, you, you told this story in the past. I don't care if you tell. I, I don't know if you care to tell it again, but it's the story of, of Brahma. Do you mind telling yeah. it? Yeah. 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 That's uh, that's. Uh the tactic of the kingdoms of this world is to invent attractions uh, to serve as distractions for you to uh, teach you, to amuse you away from yourself, uh, from the life that exists within you. Um, and so when Jesus says the kingdom is within you, uh, that's a powerful statement. And it was a threat to the existing kingdom, which was the Roman Empire, uh, which the kingdom within you becomes a, di a direct threat to, to the kingdoms of this world, whatever nation you exist in, uh, whatever go governmental uh, system that's set up to govern people. Um, so, of course, they would uh, be concerned about uh, religion. Um, and would seek to control religion, to water it down, to distort the true meaning of it, to keep people from turning inward, uh, to realizing that their true citizenship is not in the kingdoms of this world, but the true citizenship is in the kingdom of God. Kingdom, meaning king's domain, the inner dominion, the inner domain, where the king of the universe rules and which means when you under that rule uh, you don't have to fear losing your life when you don't conform to the corrupt rulership uh, and to the corrupt rulers of this world and so the kingdom of god is within you is similar to the story of of uh, brahma who was uh, according to the the uh, hindu legend um, was uh, there was a time when all men were gods and the chief god, uh, Brahma, uh, told the lesser gods, we're going to take man's divinity away from him and hide it. And so Brahma wanted the lesser gods to come up with a place where they could hide it. And so they said, well, uh, let's hide man's divinity uh, at the top of the highest mountain. And so Brahma said, no, that's not going to work because eventually man will, will climb the highest mountain and he will discover it. And so they said, well, let's bury it in the deepest part of the ocean. And so uh, Brahma said, no, you can't, you can't bury it there, hide it there, because eventually man is gonna dive deep into the ocean, the deepest part of the ocean, and he will eventually discover it there. So, well, uh, let's bury it deep, deep in the ground, in the earth. Brahma said, no, they, they, they'll dig in the earth and they'll find it there. And so the lesser gods gave up and said, well, we don't know where to hide it uh, because everywhere we thought we could hide it, you're saying they're going to eventually find it. And so Brahma, the chief god, said, this is what we will do. We will hide man's divinity within himself because that's the last place he will even think to look. And so the legend goes, ever since man has been walking up and down the earth, climbing mountains, digging in the earth, diving into the deepest part of the ocean, seeking and searching for something that he already has within himself. And so, um, I, you know, my, my statement is, I don't believe in the divinity of man. I believe in the divinity that is in man uh, based on the teachings of Jesus when he says the kingdom of God is within you. And when he said that the Holy Spirit will be given to you to dwell in you. So all of the divine resources that I need as a human being to sustain my spiritual and physical existence upon this planet 
God has planted that within me. And the way that I can have access to that is I have to find places where I can be still, I can be quiet, I can be attentive to that divine content that God has placed in me uh, and, and have access to those resources that can give me strength and spiritual power that is superior to uh, external political uh, or military power. 